Right, welcome ladies and gents to my review of Hellboy the Crooked Man. Now I might get a lot of hate for this, but I didn't hate the movie. I didn't hate the movie! I didn't hate the movie. Right, it's got some massive problems, and the problems are the budget. The budget really lets it down, but actually as a story, it's pretty it's pretty decent. It was alright. Like as as a film. It was okay. It's a breezy one hour thirty minutes. The only the things that really let it down is is what they tried to do with CG. That's what really let it down. There's a whole opening scene which if you can get past and you like, keep watching the movie, it's all right. But that opening scene was utterly diabolical. We open on a train, and there's like a giant CGI spider. And that CGI spider is really bad. Like, it's it's awful. It's absolutely awful. But the acting's okay. The music's okay. Like, it plods along reasonably well. Like, there's some funny quips. It's quite literally just the budget. If they gave this thing... I don't know. 20 million? Because I don't know what the budget was, in fairness. But it can't have been that much. Like, this this surely was shot for absolutely nothing. If they gave this budget... 10 million. I don't know. Whatever. It would have been better. The prosthetics work is alright. There's a whole bunch of stuff which is like actually okay. And it is copping a whole bunch of hate. And I can see why. Because if you watch that opener, you're like, oh, it's rough. That is a rough opener. But I, I, I stuck with it. I stuck with it to do a review for you guys. And I, yeah, I can't say I hated it. Jack Kesey. Jack Kesey is the new Hellboy. I can't imagine he'll ever be back. I can't imagine... Well, would they make another one? I don't know. There is the potential that they'll make another one of these. Because this was clearly made as a right to retainer. But you can also see that the individuals that made it did try to make a good movie. The, 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 the people working on this movie weren't trying to make anything bad. They genuinely were trying to make a decent film. You can tell that. Right the way from like certain camera angles, the cinematography. There's there's some actually interesting stuff here. Uh, again, doesn't make it absolutely incredible. But there's a, again, there's some interesting stuff. We, we learn about Hellboy's origin in this. Not in the usual way with a weird, lame flashback like we always get. In like a, a hellscape dream sequence thing. With Satan portrayed as a gigantic crow. Or raven. Whatever. Uh, and, and Hellboy's mother, a witch, sort of burning alive. Uh, well, trying to do the bidding of Satan. And Satan goes, no, got one more one, one more job for you. There's, a, there's a, a gift to the world growing inside you, right? This was an interesting way to do Hellboy's origin. And we get his origin in passing. Oh, I read from the paper you were born in that uh, in England, right? These things are actually interesting. That was a, a really quite a, quite a good way to do it. The crooked man himself, it was all right, you know the whole all these kind of things. It's a bit lame. It's a bit it's a bit on the nose. Obviously, he's been the 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 the, the crooked man was hung in his, uh, li his living years, as he was alive. Um, and so now he has a, a tendency for his neck to snap because he can't doesn't want to hold it up right all the time. So what's the story? Right, what's the story? Let me just, just... I'm getting ahead of myself. What's the story? We open with Hellboy and uh, his BPRD research friend, uh in, in, on a train with this gigantic spider trying to take it home, presumably. And the spider gets loose because it senses the evil in the mountains, the Appalachian Mountains. And it causes the train carriage to fall down and then while well, they're in the Appalachian Mountains. That's basically the opener. But it is a really lame opener. Like the, the, the train is CGI, the spider is CGI. They don't have the budget for it and it looks really, really bad. 
Uh, and there's like a lame fight sequence with the CGI spider. Like I said, all of this is shit. Like it's really, really crap. So when I'm saying it's okay, you know, it's not that bad and I didn't hate it. I hated that stuff. Okay. But then when that moves and we're just dealing with people, because obviously they, they march through the Appalachian Mountains and they come across people and you're dealing with the witches and things like this. That's just practical stuff. When you're dealing with that stuff, it's all right. Now, don't get me wrong. Hellboy's right hand of doom is shit. Like, it's really crap. The Hellboy costume work around his head, right around his face, is pretty crap. But the rest of it's all right. And his performance is all right. Right? He certainly puts in a better performance than David Harbour did. I would say it's a performance on par with Ron Perlman, to be honest. It's not a bad performance. If you're thinking about Hellboy and how he's been portrayed before, it's at, least, it's at the very least on par with it all. It's just the budget that lets it down. So anyway, they start coming across a secluded town and it's filled with witches and the witches are controlled by the crooked man. They're lured by the crooked man. The crooked man is stealing people's souls. I guess stealing, he's making bargains with people for their soul. And essentially Hellboy, because he stumbles across this, and he stumbles across uh, a chap that has come back home and to, to confront the crooked man and reclaim his soul. He takes it upon himself to go and fight all this evil. And it's all right. It's quite fun. Don't know what I tell you, to be honest. It wouldn't have looked good on the big screen, though. They did the right thing by not releasing this in theatres. Well... They did the right thing and the wrong thing because they're going to lose more money. Or maybe they'll earn more money. I don't know. They could have earned more money in theatres potentially. And they still have to pay distribution costs, theatre costs, all this kind of stuff. So maybe direct -to video was better for them. But it would have looked it would have looked diabolical on the big screen. I reckon it would have looked utterly terrible. On a small screen, you know, even high res, that like 4K and stuff like this, you can stomach it. Because the performances are pretty decent. Right, all of the actors are actually doing a pretty decent job. They're not terrible, right? Some of the accents are a bit put on, a bit, a bit hammed up, but that's quite fun. Like it's part of the charm of it. There's a witch, like a nymphomaniac witch, uh, and she's quite fun. You know, her accent does feel a bit forced, but it's quite fun with it. It's that sort of charm that you, I don't know, I liked it. It's quite fun. Uh, don't know what to tell you really. Saves the day. But it's the budget that lets it down. As a rights retainer, out of all the rights retainer movies, this isn't a bad one. Well, some would argue it's, it's horrendous. But it definitely goes back to its horror roots. You know, like Hellboy is supposed to be horror. And it does go back to those sort of scare-filled roots. Now, I'm not going to say it's scary. I think any adult that is scared by films, you need to assess your life. You shouldn't be scared by things as an adult, really. You shouldn't be scared by movies, anyway. Um, so it's not scary. But it's okay. Like, the, the horror tropes are okay. Like, they're not horrendous. You know, there's a scene in a church with a blind priest, and that's all quite comical. Like, it treads a, a, pretty, a pretty good line between uh, sort of propelling the narrative forward, but also pausing for some comedic elements here and there. It's actually quite decent. Again, the script is pretty tight. From a scripting perspective, script is tight. The issues that this film has, entirely budget. They're entirely budget related. Scripting, nah, good. Dialogue, better than most Hollywood movies these days. Like most Hollywood movies have awful dialogue. Ter terribly written dialogue. Like probably written by ChatGPT. This does actually feel like it's... A tight script. So I didn't hate it. And I know I'll cop some flack for not hating it. But it is what it is. Alright. I can't strongly recommend it, mind you. Because, you know, it has its issues. And it's definitely not going to be for everyone. But if you're curious about it, it's worth a punt. Anyway, what did you think if you've watched it? I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the hate. Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.